Hello my friends. I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour today using Gen Crafts pouring paints. And I have an exciting announcement about a giveaway with Gen Crafts, but first let me show you the dried result of the last Dutch pour I did with these paints. Here it is. You may have seen this. I did a video on varnishing. So this one is dried and varnished and I'm very happy with the way it came out. And um, just a note, of course you can use these paints straight from the bottle. They are pouring paints ready to pour. But on this one and the seascape I did, I extended them with a glue and Floetrol mix. And I'm going to do that again today. Because if you've watched me for any length of time, you know that I'm, I'm frugal. I like to experiment and I was running out of paints and so I, I chose to extend them. So let me tell you about the giveaway. The generous folks at Gen Crafts have invited me to do a giveaway for my subscribers. And I will repeat all this information in the description box below, but all you have to do is visit their YouTube channel, Gen Crafts, and subscribe, like, and leave a comment on their video, which is being released today. So be sure to include the phrase Chrissy Paints sent me to be eligible for one of three pouring sets, the classic, metallics, or neon. And you have one week to enter, February 19 through February 25th. And I will announce the winners selected by Gen Crafts on my next Gen Crafts video scheduled for Tuesday, March 1st. So best of luck to you all. So, um, I have mixed up some neutrals for today's pour. Did I say that? <laughs> I mixed up some white and then I added some black to come up with this neutral gray for my base coat. And I've got black, ice silver, just a lovely metallic. And again, I'll put the recipe down below how I extend these paints. This is an interesting color. It's called gun uh, or iron pearl, iron pearl. Excuse me. Wonderful dark silver. And then just for a bit of contrast, I mixed ochre and a bit of uh, copper gold to come up with this rich copper gold color. <laughs> so. There we go. I will go ahead and um, apply the base coat in front of you. I often do it off camera, but this is not a huge canvas and um, it'll be pretty easy. So here we go. I usually like to do Dutch pours on larger canvases. Whoops, look at that, it's a little unmixed white paint there um, because you have to have plenty of room to blow the paint around and you know and still leave some negative space but it is doable on a smaller canvas of course I hope that's enough gray. I, I just kind of thought it would be. <laughs> Spread that around and see. Oh, I think it will be. was about, um, oh, that was an 18 ounce cup and I think I had it probably about 15 ounces in total to cover this 12 by 24 inch canvas. I think I will just run my fingers along here to cover any gaps so I don't have to try to match the <laughs> color later. 
as it was a custom mix. Okay. All right, removing the gloves. And let's get to work. Now, to lay it out on a um, narrow canvas like this is a little tricky. Pop these bubbles. I think I will do three branches of color here, here, and maybe there. So let's begin with the mid-tone gray or silver. I'll go up here. And then maybe here. Okay. Now let's go to the copper. I didn't mix as much of this, so I have to be careful about pouring it out. It's probably plenty. Uh, that amount was would have been plenty for all the colors, but I <laughs> I mixed more of the others. Um, go to the light silver. And now the black. I found that sometimes if I lay the black down first, it gets lost and then I don't end up with much um, in the way of contrast and I really like the dark contrast on there. So yeah, all right, let's give this a shot. People often ask, this, about this hair dryer, it's just a little one called the Flower. I got it at Walmart, but it's a travel dryer, and uh, I think any travel dryer would do. If you watched my earlier Dutch pours, I was doing a year ago or so, um, I used a big old hair dryer, and I like the look I get much more with this smaller one, even though my mix is exactly the same. So there is a difference in dryers. And here we go. I'll try it on low just right here to see if, the, if it moves the paint enough. And it does. Okay, now maybe a little bit of um, jagged edges. Kind of hold the um, dryer so I'm just pouring from pouring, blowing from this little narrow 
side there rather than like this. That's my idea anyway. I don't know that it works. <laughs> Yeah, it's not really working. We're just trying to do this. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna take my skewer And just make a little curly cues on some of these odd protrusions. It's kind of my my Dutch pour signature. Here's a weird one here, so let me change that up. I like that. This is. And maybe this one. And one more. I like it. I'm very happy with it. Under one thing. I just want to make this reach that edge. Other than that, it's pretty close to what I hoped for. Okay, that was an odd thing to do, but um, <laughs> I just, I prefer to have it reach all four edges and uh, needed it up there. So there we go. Let me bring you in for a closer look. Now these cells, um, as you saw in the last one, they'll grow a little bit more, but not a whole lot more. I like the black with the copper. And I very much like this solid, um, the solid lines there and there. I'm pretty glazed, except for what I just did there. I don't. It's too squared off. I gotta fix that. I am picky about my work, my friends, but, you know, if something doesn't sit right with me, uh, I either try to fix it or learn from it. So let's see. There, I'll stop there. That helped. Even though I didn't change the shape of this form by adding that, um, it, it fixed what was bothering me. So there you have it. So again, be sure to visit the uh, Gen Crafts YouTube channel and follow the directions detailed below and maybe you will be the winner of some Gen Craft paints. Thanks for watching, my friends. See you next time.